Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Brushes and Bunnies, and in this video, we're going to be doing the YouTube Artist Collective Urban Legend theme. So in this video, while I am going through the speed painting process of this nymph that I'm doing for the urban legend, I want to talk about a couple things. The first thing I'll talk about is exactly which sort of urban legend I am painting and where does she come from. And the second thing I want to talk about is just the painting process, which is a new process that I have started to do lately. And I've been really, really liking it. So I'll just talk to you guys quickly about that, like exactly what I'm doing and what I'm using. And the third thing I want to talk to you guys about is sort of a follow-up to my last video which is talking about the art block and just kind of going through that and I, I want to provide you guys with an update because it has been a struggle and it is still a struggle just to even do this video today was a struggle for me uh, in terms of just the the like mental capacity in a way I think I am actually at the point where I feel a little bit burnt out and it's been hard to keep up with everything so I will give you guys an update but first and foremost let's focus on the YouTube artist collective theme the theme for this month was urban legends from the artist home country and you guys probably know I am from Canada but I decided to go with an urban legend from Germany which is the country I've been living in for the past seven years the legend that I'm doing is of German origin and it revolves around a beautiful maiden who threw herself into the Rhine River in despair over a lover and was ultimately transformed into a siren who then decided to lure fishermen to their destruction. There are actually many different renditions of the story. There's others that describe her as a mermaid who fell in love with a human and came to the shore of the Rhine or another one claims that she was a sorceress from a nearby village. But although there are many different varieties of the story out there, the th one thing that all of them can agree upon is that she kind of had her heart broken by her lover and she decided to sit upon a rock by the Rhine River and sing really, really sad songs. And these sad songs is pretty much what uh, ended up killing all of the fishermen and the boats nearby in the river. She's described as wearing a crown of stars, which is what I uh, tried to draw in the painting and she's also wearing white or draped in white which i also did a little bit but in the, the rendition that i decided to do was uh more or less lorelei just kind of like walking through the water a little bit and uh her like draped or her dress that she was wearing is kind of like draped around her arms floating in the water a little bit more mystical and a little bit more uh well she's she is kind of nude uh so i wanted to kind of do an ode to nature in that case with the background and also uh, just kind of have her in her natural state a little bit and also kind of be in the natural environment of what I think is a picturesque German landscape. In terms of the painting style, it is sort of a different approach than what I normally do. So I am using a wash of black India ink before I apply the watercolor. I am trying something new and I'm hoping that this is going to turn out into a specific style for myself. A lot of the struggles that I'm facing right now with just like the art block and also just general like generally feeling burnt out is coming from or stemming from the idea that I just feel like I don't have a a style, a watercolor style or a gouache style that I really like and I could call my own. I feel like everything I do is just really, really bad at this point. Uh, so finding something I really like has been difficult, but I think that this is sort of the right path where I do a first wash of uh, black ink and I determine the values and the shadows and then I go over top with watercolor and gouache. So it's still a bit messy for me because I'm still trying to figure out how to do this, uh, but I think I'm sort of on the right path and I'm kind of really liking this desaturated look and it feels a little bit more dark, mysterious and also kind of a, a picture book or illustrative, I guess you can say. One thing I am looking forward to is really pushing this technique further and seeing how far I can go with it and how I could work with the colors and uh, make this sort of technique with the, the India ink work together with the watercolor. So this is something that I will be working in my own spare time and I'll probably be doing some videos later on about it. But so far, so good. This is sort of something kind of, yeah, I think the path that I am starting to take now in terms of coloring in my drawings. 
Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about is extremely personal and it's something that I really, really don't even want to talk about because it's sort of one of those things that I feel like I have to deal with on my own and I feel like it's just going to go away on my own. But at the same time, I owe it to you to you all to explain what is going on in my life and also how I've been feeling about art in general. And I really hate to say these words because it's something I never thought I would say, but honestly, the past two, three weeks now, it's been really, really, really hard. I spoke briefly about it in my last video in terms of how I felt with the art block. I associated like my feelings to the art block or like the 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 concept of an art block, but I think it's much more than that. I think I am just really, really tired and uh, a little bit burnt out with the sort of things I've been doing with art. The past year, I have been really pushing myself and a lot of you probably know that I do spend multiple hours a day just drawing and just painting and stuff like that. And it sounds absolutely insane and it sort of is because I have, I have, a, I have another job that I do and I also, you know, have to take care of my apartment, have to take care of my rabbits. So there's a lot of things in life just in general that I have to take care of, but I always made room for drawing and I always wanted to make room for drawing and just pushing myself constantly to get better and uh, grow this channel and, and sort of become a better artist or the artist that I want to be. It added up and it became a lot of pressure or it, it became into this kind of pressure scenario and I think that last month, I really just, I, I, I don't know. I think I just fell off. Like I just completely lost the drive. And it's, it's really heartbreaking to say that it really is. Some of you have probably noticed that I've stopped posting on social media accounts like Instagram and Facebook and even Twitter, even though I just started Twitter, technically it doesn't really count, but I haven't posted as much as I often do, which normally I would post nearly every day something new like a drawing or a painting and kind of give you all an update of what I've been working on but I haven't really done much lately and it's it really hurts me to admit that and it hurts me that I, I can't keep up with those sort of requirements or I, yeah I, I don't know how to call it like requirements that I set for myself like I just can't I haven't I haven't had the energy to keep up with it and it's been yeah it's been really 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 hard and it makes me feel bad so in the meantime, over the past three weeks or so, I've been basically taking time for myself, uh, which basically includes going out more, experiencing different things, going for bike rides, you know, doing normal things that you should be doing. Uh, also playing games, like video games that I haven't played in a very long time, which has been really nice. I've been reading more books. I've been actually writing again, which is another passion of mine. And it's been a healing process, but the only time, like the entire time that I've been doing this, I've also been feeling really bad about it because I haven't been live streaming. I haven't been on or updating Instagram, for example. So it's all these sort of thoughts and feelings that are going through my head and it makes me feel bad. But at the same time, I think it's needed. I think you have to go through these motions and I think you should be aware that uh, these sort of things happen to everyone that works in the creative industry. That being said, I will never give up on art. I will still post on this YouTube channel, of course. This is something that is very, very uh, important to me and it's sort of a passion of mine and it's something I want to develop into a further career eventually. But at this point in time, I really, really need just the time to recu recuperate and to uh, get back to my normal self in terms of like energy wise, I guess you could say, just feeling like having the drive and just the, the motivation to do some really, really cool stuff and to continue experimenting and perhaps even live streaming once more. So I'm not quitting. Please don't like freak out about that or whatever. I'm still in this to win it. And I really want to get uh, or become the better artist that I, I envision myself as. Uh, but just for you guys to know what's going on in the meantime. And yeah. I want to wish you all a very lovely Sunday and I hope you keep drawing, but of course, don't stress yourself out too much. Take the breaks that you need to take. Otherwise, you will become like me right now, completely burnt out and just uh, lacking motivation, which is not a fun place to be if you're a creative person. So take the breaks you need to take, but still uh, keep drawing and 
yeah keep being awesome so i will see you next week bye